if he ever gets another shot at Charlie. And the bell rings, and we're off here with our opening contest on SWE Fury. What a great building this uh, is here at the Canton Civic Center, and this is the most people I've ever seen in this building. Texas is wide open, and wrestling fans are ready to go, and here they are. And this is going to be a real technical match. We get two guys that know the basics of pro wrestling, but extended amateur wrestling. So I'm looking for a very technical match, and Bob, see if you agree with me. One mistake could change this match completely for either one of these guys. I'm going to say nobody has the upper hand and this, whoever wins this match is definitely going to take a huge jump. What a good tackle. Adam Asher, 20 plus years up and down the roads in the south. Wow. wow. So coming to a drop kick there from the agile. Frank Stone. This Frank Stone gonna be a star in SWE Fury, I can guarantee it. I have to agree with you when I, we talked about how he put Charlie to the test the last time that I saw. And it just goes to show you the intestinal fortitude. Oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh. Well, look at him standing up to those chops from Adam Asher. Irish whip now, reversed, uh oh, into the corner goes Asher. Here comes Stone and Asher's oh. gone, oh no! Oh. Right straight into that steel corner post. Bob, I, I see right now what's happening. We have a veteran that knows all the tricks and we have a young man, Stone, who wants to get this match over as quick as possible. That isn't gonna happen here. This is one of those matches that Mr. Stone, if he makes too many mistakes, it's gonna be a short night for him. Adam Asher taking advantage of the fact that that shoulder just rammed straight into that corner post and going right to work on that very arm as Stone gets back into the ring and not letting up one bit as he wrenches now on that arm of Frank Stone, Adam Asher. Some problems of late. Well, some problems really for the last year with Niles Planquet. Multiple wine bottles busted over his head. And uh, last week, delivering a win to Niles Planquet with a punch to the face, which Niles probably didn't feel like was a win, but it uh, delivered a disqualification to Adam Asher and a win to Niles Planquet. The animosity between those two goes way back, all the way back to when they were both members of Nigel Rabbit's Rabbit Empire. One, two, and that's all it's gonna be good for. Adam has an exceptionally deep well he can go into for his endurance. He can move, he can take abuse. Oh, wow. And, and that right there, he's going back to the basics. He's got a shoulder hurt and he's on it. Right back to work. Right back to work on that arm. And he's going for a pin now. One, two, and no, not enough. What great fans here in this Canton Civic Center. It's almost so loud I can't hear myself talk, Kevin Sullivan. I love it. <laughs> You're probably glad you can't hear me talk. <laughs> No, your, your wit and wisdom always welcome here in the commentary booth. And I want to thank you for lending your uh, wisdom to the commentary here because you bring a lot of experience and knowledge to the table, and I appreciate that every week. Well, thank you for recognizing that. I appreciate it. But Adam's a tough guy. Whoa, whoa big whoa, shot. Whoa. Oh, they're trading wow. now. These two guys barely on their feet. Adam ducks a clothesline, grabs him, whips him off the ropes. Goes for oh. apocalypse now, and nobody's home. Stone rolls him up. One, two. No. He's got it. Wow. 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Frank Stone.
Frankstone! Frankstone with the win tonight over Adam Asher. Two weeks in a row we've seen him telegraph that apocalypse now and totally miss out on the opportunity. And a stone stands tall. We'll be back with more SWE Fury right after this. That was a tight segment. Let's cut, guys. That was very tight. I like that. Very good. That one had some snap to it. In the match was very good, too. I've got...